You know how much I love my Amazon finds and today I'm bringing you some new stuff that I've not shown before and I'm really excited about. We're going to get into makeup, clothing, skin care, a little bit of hair care, all kinds of stuff across the board. Stick with me and we're going to do that right now but before we get started I always show you what I have on for a top and I'll put up a picture right here so you can see that and also I have on the cutest earrings today. Let me tell you about these earrings. They come in rose gold, yellow gold, and white gold and they come in different sizes as well. These are hollow, they're metal, but they're hollow, so they're really super light on your ears, and that's what I love about them. The, I think this one is the biggest one, and this one is in rose gold, and they don't tug on your ears even a little bit, which I'm always conscientious of, because my mom taught me that when I was really young, that people that wear really heavy earrings are gonna get their lobes pulled way down. And then let me show you this beautiful watch that I have on today. It is so pretty. It is a rose gold again. It's got this beautiful black face on it that has the black outlined on the rectangle. I love wearing watches. I know that because we have watch on our cell phones, we don't use watches very much, but I still love wearing them and I think they just elevate your look. This is a bracelet style, so you just put it on like a cuff bracelet and it's super comfortable. Some of these you'll find that are a little bit too tight and they don't move up and down your arm. This one does and yeah, I'm just really loving Loving that. Now, don't forget that all of my makeup that I wear, the fingernails, everything like that will be listed and linked down below. Next up is a really fun accessory that I've been in love with. And when you see this, you're going to see that it has a little dot on it. My little dachshund got these and he dragged them across the floor. So I'm a little bit upset, but thankfully they're not so expensive that you can't go out and buy a new pair. These are such a cute pair of aviators. I love the detailing that it has across the sides of them. And I've always loved aviators anyway. These are UVB and UVA rated. I love the way they look and I love the way that they kind of give little little bit of bling and a little bit of sparkle. So those are really fun sunglasses. This was just a little puppy mishap that I had, but I wanted to show them to you anyway, because I love the sidebar that they have and I love the way that they look on too. I think they're just so darn cute. Next up, I told you a while ago that I was taking Mary Ruth's vitamins, liquid vitamins that she had. Now those are about anywhere from 50 to $75, whether you get the one that has, or 72 maybe, the one that has a hair growth formula formula or whether you get the just women's formula all the time. That's a little bit steep for me per month. I was doing it for a little while, but I thought there's got to be some out there that are a little bit less that are as effective. And that's what I found with Tropical Oasis. This is the women's premium multivitamin. This is really as good as Mary Ruth's and yet it's I feel like $15 or $20 less. It just tastes great. Mary Bruce were just a little bit on the weird side for me in tasting. These are very thin, so it's like you're drinking a juice. I have found that I have more energy when I take a liquid vitamin. It is helping all of my hair and my nails and my skin, of course, but also what I've found with this one, and I don't know whether it's this or something else that I may be doing, is my back is less inflamed. And so I think just having a good multivitamin in our diet is so important because we don't get the nutrition we need for our food. I think the reason that this is so exceptional for me anyway is it does have a colloidal mineral blend with folic acid, a bunch of trace minerals that you need. It also has amino acids. Those are the building blocks of collagen. And it also has an herbal extract blend. It has alfalfa, ginseng, grapeseed powder, juniper berries, shaved grass, parsley, blueberries. It just has a bunch of really good extracts in here. So I really have been enjoying this and feel like it's every bit as good, if not better, than the Mary Ruth's vitamins. So I have a little backstory to this product. And this is from Hemp's. And this is the Pets Cream creamy citrus, orange and red raspberry herbal deodorizing spray. Okay, the puppy that I told you about, he's not a puppy anymore. I don't know why I call him that. I guess because I have all these older dogs that are around 11 and 12 years old. And then he's four, he's the puppy. He's always the one in mischief. He's always the one that just gets me every time I'm like, he's our problem child. Anyway, this right here is a spray that we used after our problem child got into some really nasty stuff. And I have no clue what this little dog got into. All we know is that he brought this weird bone in out of the yard one day, and then he had all of this stuff all over his coat. We immediately took him and gave him a bath. 
not only did we give him one bath, we gave him five baths and it was just beyond anything. Well, first we used the doggy shampoo, then we used regular shampoo, then we used my Living Pro shampoo that's the actual detox shampoo. Then we got smart and we just went to good old Dawn or dish soap and we bathed him with that twice. And I'm telling you, this dog stunk so bad. It was like death. It was like he had gotten a hold of something that was dead and just rubbed his whole entire body in it. The dog was gross. And we were just, I mean, I'm gagging, my husband's gagging, my son is like, oh my God, what is this? So my son ran up to the store and got this. You can get this on Amazon too. And it's way cheaper than at Petco. So this is a deodorizing spray and I'm telling you it works like nothing else. It works on the pH or it actually breaks down whatever is on their coat and helps them. So it immediately was something that I was just so impressed with because it took away that stench. Oh my God, it was so bad. It's like worse than four skunks altogether. It really truly was that bad. But what I really appreciate about this now is that I can use this on my dogs that come from the outside and they smell funky. Like our neighbors had a really weird barbecue the other day and there was tons of smoke coming in our yard. And of course my big dog, she just sits there and looks at the neighbors as they're cooking meat, right? So all that smoke got on her coat. She smelled terrible and I had just gotten done bathing her. So I wasn't going to give her another bath. I used this and it worked like a charm. So if you have pets and you don't like the way that they smell after they come in, you don't need to use a lot. And plus this is herbal. It's really easy. We were even spraying this on my little puppy snout. It's safe for that. Of course, cover their eyes, but it's safe to use all over because it is an herbal product. So definitely, Definitely, if you have animals, you might think about grabbing some of this. The two skincare products I have that I'm going to talk about, this I've talked about before, and this is the Benton Deep Green Tea Toner. I love this stuff and I use it specifically for one reason and that is with my LED mask. Now green tea is a great antioxidant. It's great for brightening. It's great for healing and soothing and anti-inflammatory. But what it's really good for, and I've learned this through my friend that's an esthetician, Penny from Penn Smith Skin Care. I learned that green tea toners put on about 10 to 20 minutes before you use your LED masks or your neck mask that you have, you can boost the efficacy or the efficiency of that mask by 10 times. And that to me is something I absolutely am so happy about. So this is my third, maybe fourth bottle of using this. And I do that mask every single morning. It takes 10 minutes out of my day. I do it while I'm doing other things. And using this, I've really noticed a change in the evenness of my skin and that it really is working so much faster to do all of those benefits that LED can do, which is building collagen and taking away redness and helping soothe and heal. So this has been really great to use in conjunction with my LED. The other skincare product that I want to tell you about is Biosense Squalene and Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. This has been a game changer. And I don't often talk about things being such a game changer with skincare because there's really just very few products that truly can be game changers. We have a lot of fluff in, in skincare, especially when you're buying it, you know, through somewhere in the state. Biosense has nailed this product. Since I started using this, I have noticed that all of this discoloration and redness is really starting to fade. I also have some sun damage up in the area of my hairline, you know, just from being a kid and not ever wearing sunscreen and it's really changed that it's really fading that quickly i recently watched a couple dermatologists break down how good this particular formula is and yes their video is sponsored mine isn't i purchased my own but from my experience what they had to say is really true they were talking about this being an antioxidant an anti-inflammatory how it has soothing properties beyond just the copper peptides being able to plump up build collagen, penetrate the dermis. It really is a fabulous serum. The other reason I wanted to tell you about it is because on Amazon, it's so much less than buying it from say Sephora because they have it discounted quite a bit. And I'm talking a big difference in the discount. When you're buying from Amazon, these companies will make their own store so that you know that it is authentic. So when you're looking at the price and all of the information, 
right there at the top it'll be in little blue letters visit the biosense store and this one does have that so we know that it's authentic it's not a knockoff and i can attest i bought this twice and i bought it at the discount so definitely take a peek into this and see whether or not it's something you like i have been substituting this in the morning for my vitamin c and at night i take this and i alternate it with my retinol products so every other night and it just has been working out so good the reason that i substituted it for vitamin c is because it is that antioxidant and my skin was becoming so very sensitive through menopause that I could not possibly use the harsh vitamin C that I've been using. So this has just been soothing and wonderful and it's taken the place of those other actives and I am thoroughly in love with this. All right, for hair color, wow, just released this Money Mist. It's a luxe light leave-in conditioner for glossy, expensive looking hair. Now, I am a diehard it's a 10 girl and i've used it's a 10 forever but i really wanted to try this because i know i love color wow's products they're just really great products and so as soon as they released this i think it was last month i was on it i was like yeah we're gonna try this this is so much lighter than it's a 10 and does what it's a 10 does yet makes my hair feel even more silky than it's, it's a 10 did I, like I said, I have been a diehard, it's a 10 fan. I love that leave-in conditioner. When you have hair that you're trying to grow out and you do curl it like I do, you need a leave-in conditioner. Number one, when you get out of the bathtub and you're towel drying your hair, if you've used conditioner in the shower or the tub and you get out and you don't use a leave-in conditioner, then all of that moisture is gonna wick away into the air and your hair is gonna be left feeling drier even though you are paying attention to it when you're in the shower. But if you use this, it locks in the moisture and helps to make that hair so much smoother, so much healthier, and really can do its trick. So use a leave-in conditioner, even if you decide not to try this one. But I swear, this one has made my hair so soft, and I can't believe how silky it feels. So definitely am loving this new product from ColorWow. But like I said, when you're in the shower, you need to use some sort of a conditioner. Now let me show you what I have here. These are kind of messed up because when it came, the package was all over the place and I wasn't gonna go out and just, you know, stick everyone down in there. Anyway, there is 20 of these in here and you get individual uses of these. So each of these individual uses you use one time with your hair. You can use these as a rinse out, so leave it on for like three to five minutes or you can use these to do intensive and you can towel dry your hair leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and you've got a super intensive protein treatment this is full of proteins amino acids all kinds of good stuff so you take the vial and you get want to get a little dish like this and you just pour the whole entire thing in there and what's going to happen is after you do that then you're going to go get this filled with cold water and i have another one i have another one that i used just yesterday and i filled it with cold water so you can see what happens so then you put all of the cold water that you put into the tube here and after you empty all of that then you're going to take your finger and you're going to rub it together or just stir it together not rub it together and then what happens is this is going to form a thick conditioner and i can feel it activating it's getting a little bit warm it doesn't stay warm but it is the most lovely luxurious spa-like treatment for your hair and you can use this every single time that you wash your hair or you can just choose to use this as a weekly intensive treatment but look at how thick and luxurious that is now i'm going to use this later on so i'm going to set it to the side but this just makes my hair feel like silk so between using this one in the shower and then using the color wow my hair just feels so healthy and is looking more healthy now than it has in a very long time this is so hydrating it's lovely lovely treatment on my hair and really I haven't had anything feel this luxurious since I was at a salon and had my hair done and then you know you come out of there and your hair feels so soft this does the same thing for hair one last thing that I want to recommend is this brush that I got from wet brush and this is a round brush that I use to smooth my hair while I'm blow drying my hair I love how big this is and even though my hair is a little bit longer, it doesn't get tangled. Lots of times if you have really long hair, sometimes it can get tangled. It has the natural bristles in there, but it also has the plastic ones. I love how it's vented. You have this one side right here that's vented as well. It just helps to make my hair that much smoother 
through the hair drying cycle or the blow drying cycle. This one I think I've had for three or four years. I don't know if I've ever shown it to you or not. It does have one little thing of teeth missing from there. We're talking about a puppy. Yeah, so we'll, we'll jump past that. But anyway, <laughs> it really is a nice hairbrush to have. And for blow drying my hair and getting this as smooth as possible, this is a great tool too. Guess what? Your girl went a little bit nuts with the perfume. Now, this is Britney Spears perfume that she came out with years and years ago, but I was on TikTok and there's this gal called Dana and she uses the pink one, which I think is called Fantasy. They probably all are called Fantasy something but I wanted to try all of these and they are all so different, but they're all so good. I am just in love with how wonderful these are. This one right here is called Midnight Fantasy, I believe. You can layer these together. That's one thing that's really nice. So it kind of has the same base notes, which are almost a floral fruity. I am not somebody that likes a lot of floral like rose or anything like that, but I do love musk, I love vanilla, and I love citrus, and it seems like all of these have a little bit of that in there. The Midnight is a little bit more of a musky scent to it. This one that has the vanilla in it, that's the peach one. Let me see if I can figure out what that's called really quick. This one's called Naked Fantasy. This one smells more vanilla-y. And I, oh my gosh, I love this too. And then the original Fantasy one that she came out with, and yes, I'm putting a lot on, but they go together so good. This one is a little bit more of a floral. So these are fantastic. I wouldn't say that these last a super long time. What I do when I wear them, I spray them in my hair, I spray them on my clothes, and I also will take just a little bit of Vaseline if I want it to last a little bit longer and put it on the pulse points of your body. So that is right here on your wrists or right here on your neck, right there by your ear. Those are all pulse points and you can put just a tiny bit of Vaseline and then spray these. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with these. I'm wanting to try them all, but I'm trying to hold myself back, even though these aren't that expensive for a perfume. I'm really surprised at that. So I was able to get as many as I wanted. I wanted to try some more, but I wanted to bring these to you so you can see. And what pretty bottles, right? Aren't they just gorgeous? And the scents are just heavenly. Now I smell like a French boudoir, so we better move on. I wanted to show you this for spring. I love this little purse. It's a purse that is tiny. It's a crossbody. It's considered a crossbody, but it's got a bunch of little like organizational pockets in there. And this thing is so darn cute with the little butterfly that's on the front. You guys know I love butterflies anyway, but I love the guitar strap on it. This does come in a few different colors, but how cute is that? And I don't overload it because it's a littler purse. I have a tendency to make my purses weigh about 55 pounds each when I have a big one. So this is really nice. And I just wanted to make sure that I showed it to you. I love the detailing with the ivory and then the black that is the piping across it and the stitching. I just thought it was so cute and definitely functional for spring. And yeah, I just thought it was a lot of fun. I wanted to bring that one to you. And then I have two pieces of clothing that I wanted to share with you besides the shirt that I have on. This is just kind of a boho knitted little fringe bottom. Look at the fringe on the bottom, so cute. To throw over your t-shirts or your swimsuit or whatever. This is true to size. I love this and I think it's just so darn cute to elevate your outfit. This is really, really cute with jeans. It's cute with just a straight skirt, a pencil skirt. It's just a fun top to throw over anything. You can tie this in the front if you want to. So it's got a lot of different ways that you can wear it, but it's fun and it's easy. And I got mine in blue and I think, I'm thinking I might go back and get one in ivory. I just, I love this. I think it's so pretty. And then another top that I got that I thought was so gorgeous. And a lot of people will ask me, what do you wear for a bra with this? I wear a nude bra with nude straps. I don't care if anybody sees my straps. I wear a bra. If I didn't wear a bra, I'd have my boobs hanging to my knees and yeah. So I'm not, I don't care if people see that I wear a bra, but I love the lace detailing on this and this shirt is so soft. The material on it is super soft. Lace trim on here is just as pretty. And then the sleeves on it have just a little bit of that fringe look too. This is just a really beautiful shirt and I definitely wanted to bring it and show it to you. They have several different colors of it. This one is in a medium and it's a little bit big for me. So if you like them blousey, you like them a little bit loose, this might be just exactly what you're looking for. I love this. And then I'll show you what I'm wearing for tennies. I am in love with these. First of all, they have cushion in them that feels so soft. And the other thing is I love that you have this little bit of elastic right here 
that really hugs your heel. That's what I have a lot of times when I wear tennies like this that are just a flat tennis shoe that, you know, you just want to slip on and have something very easy. Lots of times they'll slip out because I have a little bit wider foot. So I buy a nine, but my foot is really only the length of an eight and a half. So they kind of slip out sometimes, but these are great. They already come knotted on the shoelaces, so you don't have to worry about tying them. These have been so fun and so comfy and easy to slip on and going to be so great to not wear any socks with in the summer because obviously a lot of us don't wear socks when we wear stuff like this. This has just been an easy, fun shoe and really enjoying them. All right, that's the Amazon Roundup. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this today. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. Let me know if there's anything that you have found from Amazon recently that you can't wait to tell us about. Let us know that in the comments section. Don't forget I have a lot of these kinds of videos. So if you're interested, I'll put the playlist up for you to be able to see all the videos that I have all about Amazon goodies. I love shopping at Amazon. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves. Hope you're happy and healthy. And please come see me again very, very soon in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.